Hey, welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. And this is our first video with the new plow actuators. They're not actuators, the, the new plow uh, operators. They're, they're just, uh, they're just angle iron at the moment. I'll give you a up close of that. So they have holes in them. They fit on a uh, bolt each side. Fits on a bolt for each side in the uh, plow body, which I'm not going to show you at the moment. Looks like the snow is coming down even heavier now. It's about to turn to rain, so this is hopefully the perfect time to plow. Get the rest of this off the tops of the rails before rain comes and it doesn't turn to ice. I don't know how much we'll be able to push away with the wings, but uh, I got them out just, to, just in case there's something. You know, I was just thinking it wasn't going to be all that exciting this time around. So much for that idea. This is the kind of excitement I could do without. What did it bounce off on? More than likely, a piece of ballast that was kicked up by the snowblower the last snowstorm. That happens. Let's see if I can give you a good camera angle while I put this on the, back on the rails. No, so in the snow bank here. There we go. First of all, we take this off. Ah, now I see what caused it. Ice build up. Snow and ice build up. It's that kind of snow. Let's pick this up out of the snow bank here. And we'll take it slow and easy, I guess. It's going to come off again, I'm sure. It is snow and ice. So, my solution eventually for this, my ultimate solution for this problem, will be wheel wipers. But I obviously don't have time to do that today. So let's see if I can give you another right angle of me re-railing the plow. This is going to happen a lot today.
tires back on. I'm gonna clear a seat for myself on the plow. This should be easier. <laughs> should be. It says right here in fine print. Alrighty, where to put you? About right here. How does that angle look? Eh, maybe that one looks a little better. It's not really picking up much. up more on the wheels than it is than the other way. There we go, there's the leading edge of the plow. Not a lot happening on the plow. A little bit here in the cut, but not much. Don't see much there. expect that to happen. I gotta put the engine back on. Alright. Dip in the snow bank for you. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Off the plow was hurting and putting it back on the track. All right. How's that leading edge looking?
crack. All right, made it one way. It only took, what, 10, 11 minutes? I get to back up with this thing and clear this, the uh, siding, or main track. I guess it's the siding. We call it the main track, but it's really the siding. We use the siding like it's the main track. Only because the main track's in worse condition than the siding. Go figure, right? All right, time to pull this thing back. So I guess you don't want to see that. But there, I'll show you the plow real quick. So there's the X91, and of course, the very capable 70. Mostly made of wood. At least the body is, the chassis is steel. Amazingly capable for as minimal as this thing is. You put any less on it and it's it would be not functional. <laughs> Minus the body, of course. But anyway, got to have a body to protect the electronics, right? Well, here's a return trip with a plow. I pulled the wings in. Pulling off the uh, end of track here. Track is nice and cleaned out, and this uh, this track eh, not so much. Close enough. Swept out the switches. here with the uh, snow blower. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, that's the uh, the rail for the the uh, new siding we're going to be putting in. And uh, one of the rails has been bent up pretty good. So I'll have to fix that after the snow is melted. There on the right, the little two dots. And what that does, it tells the flanger operator to lift the flanger. Right now, our flanger is fixed, as in it doesn't move up and down yet. Build these things in increments sometimes.
down in there is the power switch. That turns it off. Alright, we're all done for right now.